It's important to understand what can cause longer render times so that you can optimize your colorway scenes. These two projects look exactly the same, but the DCI on the right took 2 minutes and 20 seconds to render, and the DCI on the left took under 50 seconds. So what's the difference? Inside of Modo, I have a couple of different options for when I export to Colorway. I can tag my materials, which allows me to change the color of the materials or add textures inside Colorway. I can tag my lights, which allows me to adjust the lighting inside of Colorway. And I can tag my cameras, which gives me all the different camera views inside of Colorway. And then when I'm ready to render, I also have the option of enabling reflection and refraction changes. Each of those different options will increase the render times, and it's important to know which ones to use. So let's have a look at each of them. Tagging materials will allow you to change the color and apply textures to the individual parts inside of Colorway. If you want the user to be able to drag a color onto a specific part, it needs to be tagged. The button next to the tagging button is a transparency tool which allows the user to adjust the transparency, and there's a separate tutorial available for this. Allowing the user to adjust the transparency will increase the, the render times drastically. Tagging the lights will allow the user inside of Colorway to adjust each of those lights individually. This is a good one to think about. Does the user actually need to adjust the lighting inside of Colorway, or is the lighting environment that has been set up perfect? And I'll show you what that means. This one on the right, if I click on the Lighting and Effects editor, has all of the lights tagged, which means the user can go in and change the intensity of each of those individual lights. They can even turn those lights off completely. The DCI on the left ha hasn't has those lights tagged, so they don't have the option to change the directional light or the environment independently. They just have a general untagged lights where they can have a combination of changing the intensity. If your users are never going to enter the Lighting and Effects Editor because they have a predefined scene, it's best not to tag the lights. It does increase the render times drastically. Then you have the camera views, which you can select which views you'd like the user to experience. So do you want them to have access to all of the views or just some of them? If it's just some of them, there's no need to tag them all. Finally, when you render to Colorway, it will ask you, if you'd like to enable reflection and refraction changes. This means that the object that you have in your scene and any other objects around it will reflect light off each other. So for example, if I have glass or a metallic or mirrored surface and there are other objects interacting with that surface, then I may want to tag the enable reflection and refraction. But if my object is predominantly matte or doesn't have any reflective surfaces, it's best to leave that unchecked because it can drastically increase the render times. Doing some tests before you create a full production workflow will ensure that you're getting the best optimized render times for your colorway environment.